Tesla have begun installing 500 kilowatt fast chargers. The world's largest supercharging network is about to get better. And you know how people say stuff like this? Oh, there's no point to that. It's pointless because why have 500 kilowatt charging? No, no one can charge with an EV light. There's no chargers in the world that'll charge at that speed. I wouldn't bother with that EV. I'm sure you've seen these Muppets on social media constantly posting out of there. Just complete dribble that comes out of their mouths. And I say, you know what? You don't need to keep being negative, man, because 500 kilowatt fast charging will come. It is the future. Even if there's not one in your hometown today, there will be very soon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And honestly, if you're one of the people who posts this kind of stuff, I'm talking directly to you. You're probably not. But um, I don't know why lately I, I find that social media is just, there's a lot of people on there that I don't think have jobs. I think all they do is say negative things. And I can tell you now, guys, the brands, the car brands, I've spoken to some of the um, managers, marketing managers, they say they no longer go on social media. They say it's just too negative. People saying this stuff, just so much criticism. And a lot of it, you know, the thing is, some of it's legit criticism. That's the problem. Some of it is stuff that the brands can learn from. But because it's hidden by probably 80 to 90% just nonsense, they are moving away and they're not even paying any attention to it. So that's one of the concerns here. It's, it even comes to Tesla, guys. A lot of the Tesla criticism is legit, but a lot of it is just kind of emotional reactivity. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Anyway, Getting back to the story, construction has begun on the world's first 500 kilowatt Tesla supercharger site in California. And this new site is going to be equipped, well, it's the first one in the world to get Tesla's next generation power electronics capable of delivering higher charging speeds and 500 kilowatt superchargers, which, yeah, I mean, the Chinese are probably saying, yeah, we've been doing this for quite a while now. But the rest of the world, we don't have 500 kilowatt chargers. So this is pretty cool. The only challenge with super high power chargers, you do have to find the right locations and it can be harder to do that. These upgrades, says not a Tesla app, bring some pretty cool benefits. Obviously faster charging for the Cybertruck. And when these 500 kilowatt chargers come to places like Australia, you'll be able to charge your uh, new Xpeng G6 500 kilowatt charging, the Zika 7X 450 kilowatt charging. And... It's at that point, I'm going to say to people, hang on a minute, man. You told me I shouldn't have bought that car. You said it wasn't good because its charging was really fast. It was pointless. It was like, why bother? Well, you know what? I'm going to really enjoy. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take a photo of my car charging at those 500 kilowatt charging speed or 450 kilowatt charging speed. I think that'll be really cool. But to be honest, it's not really just about getting revenge on the negative naysayers. It's just about the fact EVs are getting better and will continue to get better. Apparently, Tesla's new um, 500 kilowatt chargers have a, a new design. Apparently, they're more reliable and there's new hardware as well, which obviously makes sense. The new 500 kilowatt chargers are designed to support lots of different vehicles, including 400 volt architectures, 800 volt architectures, 900 and even 1000 volt architectures. So this very much future proofs these charges. And the upgrade means that, um, well, the Cybertruck will be able to charge quite quickly now as well. Not that there's many of them, but yeah. The only vehicle in Tesla's lineup that actually supports charging at 500 kilowatt, the Cybertruck will experience charging speeds 30% faster at these stations which is a big improvement from the 325 kilowatt it can charge at V3.5 stations. Yeah, this is a pretty cool benefit that um, Cybertruck owners will get. For owners of the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y, charging speeds will not increase. They'll be still 250 kilowatt. So this is really more about new electric cars. 
It's actually interesting, that, isn't it, that Tesla is doing this in the United States where, to be honest, there's not many cars that charge at those speeds. But there are cars from Tesla's rivals, now newer cars from Lucid and General Motors, that can charge at over 400 kilowatt. Now, apparently, the new V4 supercharger cabinet, which powers the stalls, can support up to eight charging stalls. So one cabinet can actually support eight different charging stalls. And that doubles the capacity generation of V3 cabinets. The only thing I'd say is eight charging stalls. Imagine if they all were providing 500 kilowatt charging. I mean, obviously they couldn't. You'd need so much power at that one location. Well, you could theoretically. This wouldn't be many sites where you could have that much power. The increased capacity, though, is a big deal. And this will massively, I think, enable us as EV fans to really kind of say to those naysayers who don't want EVs and hate EVs, hey, you know what? I can charge in 15 minutes. I don't have to wait around for a long time. There was an episode on TV of of Tulsa King. So the new season two, Tulsa King, watched the first episode and they really, they got this Hyundai Ionic 5 or Hyundai Ionic 5 went on a trip and then they started saying the EV wouldn't get its range. They had to stop and charge and it caused these problems with gangsters and because they had to charge it for so long and they had to stay there for hours. It's kind of a myth perpetuated, isn't it, by the media mostly, not just the media, but some anti-EV trolls, that EVs take forever to charge. I think this kind of helps to dispel some of those myths. The V4 cabinets feature cutting edge power electronics that Tesla has designed to be the most reliable in the world. And this is probably accurate. The key metric, though, is a three times increase in power density, which enables the new cabinets to deliver higher throughput at a lower overall cost. Now, apparently, not a Tesla app says that, many of the improvements that were introduced in the Mega Pack and the Tesla Mega Block will be incorporated into Tesla's electronics within the V4 cabinets. And remember, Tesla are using Mega Packs to power some of these char- new charging sites and charging locations. So what Tesla does is they get electricity from the grid when it is cheap during the middle of the night or when there's lots of solar during the middle of the day and they store it in their batteries and then sell it back to people at much, much higher prices. Now, to be fair, I'm not criticizing Tesla's pricing strategy. They're the cheapest in the world. Generally, the charges are the cheapest in the world everywhere you go. But the point is it's a very profitable way to do business. And Tesla also, of course, deploys solar panels and solar farms and things like that, uh, its own in many cases, to power the charges as well. So I think it's a really good business model. The start of construction in Campbell is the first 500 kilowatt charging site, but there will be many coming soon. Some locations though you'll find in the future won't have 500 kilowatt charges because those locations just won't be capable of providing that kind of power. But some of the bigger sites... Uh, and the more heavily used ones will have the new 500 kilowatt chargers. And I think um, it's going to be really exciting to see how fast you can charge your new Chinese EV on a Tesla supercharger capable of 500 kilowatt charging. I can't wait to actually find out. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.